Okay, so we're going to tie a blood knot. Now, the blood knot's a, a knot we use for joining two pieces of line. We also use it when we're going fly fishing when we want to make a dropper to attach a fly to. I'll just show you how to tie the knot. I'm using two different coloured lines here, but obviously when you're going fishing, you wouldn't do that. You'd use whatever line you're using to tie your flies on. The reason I'm using two different lines is just to show you how the knot operates. So, we'll cross our line over like this. Make an X. Wrap this one one, two, three, four times around there. We put that in down through here. Now, I have to pinch all that tightly so that it doesn't slip. And I go the other way with this one one, two, three, four times. Take the end and I come back up through this loop which I've created. Moisten the knot a little bit and I pull my two main lines. That tightens into a knot like that. Okay, so I'm going to do that again and um, show you how to make the dropper, which is the piece you attach your fly to. So again, we start off, make our X, cross the line over, except this time I'm going to leave this one a little bit longer because that's where I'm going to attach my fly. That'll be my dropper. So I'll go one, two, three four times around there, put my line down there, pinch everything so it doesn't slip, one, two, three, four times around there, bring the end back up through this loop, pull that through, moisten my knot a little bit and pull the two main lines and it tightens into a knot. Now, I cut off the shorter one here, and I'm left with this one, the longer one. Can you see that or not, but there. I'll just get rid of this. So that longer piece there, and I'll put it down here, as you can see. That longer piece there is our dropper, and that's where we attach our fly. So, you're going to have to go and practice that, and uh, hopefully you'll get out fishing soon. Thanks.